Welcome back guys, we are still doing the WWE story mode and we are doing the revolution. The revolution, this is a hell of a story. We're actually still in episode one and we will uh, proceed. The tag team champions are up next when Raw rolls on. Let's go. <sighs> I really do hate that screenshot. That main event thing just sticks out. It really does piss me off for some reason. But... In case you missed it, the last episode, go check it out. So much. Oh, Andy the Alien, Thanksgiving, that time of year when you and your family get together and celebrate how thankful you are that you don't have to see each other for the other 364 days of the year. Tons of people crowd around the table way too small and spend the next two hours cramming their faces with bird meat and arguing about sports. Oh, I know that's right. Politics, religion, and gay rights. Grandma keeps walking. <laughs> Grandma keeps walking up from her, waking up from her mini naps and yelling, "I miss Bob Barker." While your lonely old bachelor uncle, who still lives with, you, keeps checking out your hot cousin, who isn't paying attention because she's too busy texting her boyfriend, who just got out of prison. Your other cousin, who's three years old, managed to take off his pants and stuff them full of cranberry sauce. But hey. At least at the end of the day, you can go home and play WWE Revolution. WWE Revolution, saving Thanksgiving at homes across America. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was amazing. Superstar, any team, two. Win condition is win. It looks like we got our second match of Raw coming up. A tag team match. We got the champs. Question is, is who are the champs stepping in the ring with? That was a hell of, that was funny shit. And yeah, I agree. Actually, about all holidays. I'm not a big holiday guy. Uh, I've actually created my own. Ooh, it's the primetime players coming out. Here comes the primetime players. It's for the tag titles. On the way to the ring. At a total combined weight. Of 509 challenge. Darren Young, Titus O'Neill. Excuse me. Will this be the day that the primetime players finally get the titles? Will this be the day? Sure isn't shy about sharing their feelings about this superstar. That's the big question. Will the primetime players finally become tag team champions of the WWE? Or will the Rhodes keep the titles? I'm not big in the gates, so um, I don't really anticipate me picking Darren Young. <laughs> I know that pissed a lot of y'all off. What's the what's up with the word homophobic? I've never really understood that. What makes y'all think gay uh, straight people fear gays? Serious. No phobia. Here comes ooh, Christian. And introducing say the Christian. challengers first. From Hollywood, California. Here Gold. comes Gold Dust. Just Why the hell does that say Christian? WWE Universe, letting them hear it. Here comes Gold Dust. Here comes Gold Dust. Solo with his tag title. Not really sure what all this is about. Uh, I guess it is a creative guy. I forgot he's not actually on the game. No dust coming out. Waiting on his brother. The legendary Rhodes family. Which I'm, you know, I've been big on the Rhodes family since Starcade, man. I'm a big Dusty Rhodes guy. And here comes Cody. And his tag team. Partner, his tag title and his mustache. Ready to go. Pounds, Cody Rhodes. Now the WWE Universe sure here is comes Cody. The feelings about this superstar. This ought to be good. Tag team champ. Cody Rhodes. It's little odd that they're coming out separate. You gotta, you gotta wonder, is there dissension within the Rhodes family? You gotta ask yourself, why are they not coming out as a team? What is wrong within the Rhodes? Now they're staring at each other, looking at each other. Oh, this looks rough. I wonder what Dustin, uh, Gold Dust was saying right there. Is there dissension in the Rhodes? Something is going on. 
Maybe it's time for the primetime players. Maybe this is their chance. There looks to be dissension in the roads. I don't know. You tell me. With that said, this match is coming forward. This tag team titles are on the line. And we have to make a decision. We have to make a pretty tough decision here. The Rhodes and, and, you know, they've been tearing it up as of late. Having five-star matches in almost every tag team match. It's just, how do you pick against them? How do you pick against them? We got two gays. Well, one real gay, one storyline gay in this match. How the hell did this happen? How the hell did this happen? Darren oh, Young no. has been Lagoda. successful in tag teams before. This could be a new force to be reckoned with. Wow. So this definitely go does his move set. The range of emotions here is startling. There's almost an unknowing of oh, wow. Ooh. Just raining down fist. Pounding on the Oh, he got he with the with the Oh. Darren Young with the spin around. Go Did back. Go around. Talk about getting your drop me on my neck. Drop Jeez. drop Dustin Rhodes on his neck. The championship oh, at Gold stake, you know these superstars taking a little bit of a beating. They have to win here tonight. Gold Dust and Darren Young fighting. Darren Young has tons probably of over a man. Can back it up in the probably ring. what's going on here. Oh shit! Darren Young is looking and did you hear the on fire on right kick? now. Gold Dust with a nice reversal. Ooh, be a nice lariat by Dustin match. Rhodes, A.K.A. Gold Dust, and here he comes. Here he comes. Ooh, the belly to back. Oh, hold it up like an accordion. He makes the tag. And here comes Cody Rhodes. Here we go. Cody oh, Rhodes man, for a first neck breaker. breaker. And here he comes. Off the ropes, Cody. What a Damn, the knee drop the on knee. the face. And Dustin Rhodes. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. Interfering to. Oh, there's the bulldog right there. His brother's old finishing the mover. That was Dustin Rhodes finisher in WCW. Back in the old Barry Windham tag team days. Man, I missed those stages. Damn. Another bulldog. And Dustin I mean, Cody Rhodes goes after Titus O'Neill. He's struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Cody's got him. Darren Young is in a lot of trouble. And Cody Rhodes with a nice suplex. Hell of a suplex by... Oh. Oh, hell of a reversal. Darren Young going for the tag, and he oh, gets it. Oh, and he's going to have to do something big oh. here. His partner Cody is in Rhodes. bad shape. Wild strike misses the target. Going right into a right hand. Here comes the big man, what? Titus O'Neil. I'm going to tell you what's funny. Oh, I always God, thought Titus O'Neil was that did. And I'm dead serious. Like, I mean, for years like I've been saying that I thought Orton. Titus O'Neil was gay. And it ended up being Darren Young. Get out of my way, Russell. They're going to they're gonna fucking mount and disqualify me. Cody Rhodes with the top rope. Ooh, dog. Oh, dropped him on his neck. Titus O'Neil's in serious trouble here. Hashtag Raw on Twitter. Check it out. History. And here it goes. This is Monday Night Raw. Suddenly... He's working on that neck. And the, the whip into the ropes. Oh, Titus O'Neil with the dash. Ooh, dropped to hold by Cody Rhodes with the big reversal. Now it's, it's time to move like forward. That make Night um, Raw the hottest show oh, on he is TV. tearing his neck up. You know, it's and here comes Goldust back in the ring. They are a great tag Cody team. Rhodes. That's why they're the champs. Oh, oh the power slam. This is why they are champs, folks. Kick. It's the consistent tags. From that kick. Smart move, like getting out of the ring when they're in trouble now. right there. And Titus O'Neil now is in trouble. Championship on the line. He's thrown back in by Cody Rhodes. Oh, man, good reverse. Oh, belly to belly. Oh, oh, he's in trouble. He is definitely in trouble. Dustin Rhodes. A.K.A. Gold. Ooh, another Larry. It takes the big man down. Now the question is, is where do we go from here? Ooh. 
Oh, <laughs> little lariat by Titus O'Neil. Bam. Nice comeback, but... Oh, he was on a roll, but then Titus O'Neil was able to... Titus is worth what the hell is Titus O'Neil doing? Oh, here comes Dustin. And then, oh, this guy, this guy. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the Oh, here we go. Oh, he's ravishing Rick Rudeness. Bam! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what's next? This arena starting to come together in support. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, is this over? This has got to be over. And they're going to retain the titles. The, the Rhodes brothers are still champions. They're still champions. It don't get no better than that, folks. And the Rhodes brothers continue, continue to be on a hot streak, continue to have back and forth five-star matches. This time it was with the primetime players. And that was a hell of a match. So, well, I'm telling you, man, I, I was worried there with Titus on there. I thought Titus had it. I thought he was able to, to do it. But they're still champs. They are still champs. People out there in the crowd with their primetime player signs. But that was not enough to take down the champs. Not today. Not today. And they seem, despite there being some dissension, it looked like they, they look like they're right on track right now. They look like they are definitely, definitely the champs. No question. So the question has to be asked is, is there anyone in the WWE, any tag team, that can defeat the Rhodes? Michael Cole, last night he defeated Alberto Del Rio to retain the gold. John Cena is coming up next when we return. Don't go away. Definitely, this this whole story has been made beautiful so far. I mean, this is about as real as it gets. Uh, definitely some good stuff. I like. I, I yeah, I just it was definitely a good story. It's definitely good stuff. Raw is Logan Productions would like to thank WWE gamer Dre41 for his amazing creations on WWE 2K14's community creations. Many of our creations are downloaded from Dre41, and we recommend that you do the same. Check out Dre41's Created Superstars on Community Creations today. Hell of an advertisement for Dre41. Go check him out. Go check out Dre41. See what he's got. I'm sure a lot of my creations came from Dre, too. Welcome back to Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole, along with Jerry the King Lawler. And the champ is here. Here comes Cena, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes. And Cena looks ready. He looks ready as he takes off to the win. Indeed, last night, John Cena was victorious over Alberto Del Rio. And he still is still the world heavyweight champion. Still the champion. Let's see what goes down here. I wonder if they're going to do the Orton storyline here or not. Roanoke, Virginia, what a night, what a night, what a night. The night after Survivor Series and the crazy pay-per-view energy is still in there. And things are exciting with the WWE Universe. We have a new WWE Champion in Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. And while some of you may not care, I'm proud to still be the World Heavyweight Champion. Now it's time to talk about some great things coming up. We got the holidays. Well, I guess it wouldn't be Randy Orton because Daniel Bryan's the champ. Now I think about it. Always exciting. But we also have the next WWE pay-per-view TLC. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know why I'm... Well, here comes the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. I wonder what brings Ziggler out here during John Cena's time. Ziggler's out here to show off and wiggle his ass. 
I'm sure we're about to find out. Says Michael Cole. Here comes it down to the ring. What Ziggler's up to? Right, we're gonna see the challenge. This is gonna be pretty good. This ought to be good. Ziggles may get a push here. Let's see. Yeah. Dolph Ziggler, welcome. Look, John, I know that I'm interrupting your time right now. Last night, you managed to defeat the world heavyweight, defend the world heavyweight championship against Alberto Del Rio, and you deserve the opportunity to celebrate. But I heard you talking about the next <clears throat> WWE pay-per-view event, TLC. I thought I would come out here and jump on the opportunity before anyone else did first and say that I want to challenge you for the world title at TLC. You know as well as I that when I lost that title to Alberto Del Rio, it was under shady circumstances. I want the opportunity to win the title back, and I know that you are man enough to accept my challenge. So, John, what do you say? What will John Cena say? Will Super Cena accept the challenge? Well, honestly, I can respect that. As long as the WWE Universe wants it. As long as WWE management will allow it. You have a match. Uh, here comes Alberto Del Rio. We see the, the Titantron. We hear the music. And here he comes. Alberto Del Rio is not having this shit. Here comes the man who lost the map last night. John Alberto Del Rio. What the hell is wrong with me? Perhaps Del Rio wants in this match at TLC. Get him, Alberto. Bo Del Rio and Cena had an amazing hard-fought match last night at the Survivor Series. Del Rio looks like he's got something to say. He's coming out to say it. He ain't taking no shit. Alberto Del Rio makes his way to the ring. Probably tired of all the jobbing that's been going on with him. You know, um, it's just the truth. Maybe he needs repackaged or something. Something, Something's wrong. Alberto Del Rio is just not um, drawing money. He's not doing that. Let's tell the truth in front of all the people, Sima. Last night, you cheated to beat me. You could never beat me fairly. Just like that blonde beach bum behind you. If anyone deserves a title shot at TLC, it's Alberto Del Rio. So I'm challenging you to a match at the pay-per-view. Of course, if you don't want to, if you don't want a real fight, you could always just fight Dolph Ziggler. I have no clue what the fuck kind of uh, uh, accent I was just using, actually. So I hope I don't offend it. Hey, King, look, it's Sheamus. Uh-oh, here comes Sheamus back. We haven't seen Sheamus in a while. Here comes Sheamus. And now I think it's Sheamus who wants in this tight end on this title match. Yeah, Sheamus makes his, out, his way out to the ring. Who's next? This ought to be good. We got four of them down there. Are we going six men? Six men here? Are we stopping at four? You know, the last time I checked, fellas, it's not a real fight without the Irish. And as of tonight, I am back and better than ever. And John, there is no better way than by challenging you for the world title. So while these men both have valid arguments, I'm asking you to pick me for your match at TLC fella <laughs> yeah I know I don't sound nothing like him I'm you know I'm just trying to add a little effects to it uh, see how it sounds I don't expect it to sound top notch uh oh uh oh here comes Steph here comes Stephanie McMahon gentlemen gentlemen as I look into the ring right now, I don't see a match between two of you happening at TSC. What I see is a far bigger opportunity. What I see is a fatal four-way match with all of you 
for the world heavyweight title. And not just any fatal four-way match. A fatal four-way tables, ladders, and chairs match. Now the way I see it is that if the four of you are going to take up that the space and the ring together tonight, then you might as well have a match. What kind of match, fella? <laughs> Seamus and John Cena versus Alberto Del Rio and Dolph Ziggler. Wow, did you hear that? Stephanie McMahon comes out here and makes this huge match and just leaves. Makes two huge matches. We have a huge tag team match when we return. Don't go away. Uh-oh. It's about to go down, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to go down. So we'll see what happens here. Join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter to get the latest revolution updates and release dates. Follow us at Raw is Logan and use uh, and use hashtag WWE Revolution. WWE Revolution, what the gaming world is talking about. It is pretty tight shit, Logan. Good job, man. Good job. End of match conditions. Any team won. Any team. Anybody on the team. Conditions win. So I wonder what team we are. More than likely, we're Cena and Sheamus. That would make probably the most sense. Yep, if they we're decide Sheamus. to remain a team, this combination would make sense for Sheamus to come back and suffer a loss. For the WWE Tag Team Titles. And Alberto Del Rio is trying to get me from outside the ring. Sheamus with some knees to the gut of Ziggles. Oh, got him into the corner. Cena gets off the apron. What the hell is Cena doing? He's a champ. He's got to be careful. Suplex by Sheamus. And Sheamus is being aggressive as it can get on Ziggles. Knees to the gut. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be and shown then the belly to back. Oh, nice. Now Sheamus is whipping Ziggles into the ropes. Running clothesline. Running clothesline on Ziggles. He is getting annihilated to start this matchup. More Tiny. knees. Uh-oh. An abdominal oh, stretch. There's no way that feels good. Great That's not going to work. Uh-oh. Free Nelson. He was trying to break Ziggles down. Oh, man. Does that look painful? This is serious gut check time. Now the well, Irish whip. The oh, he Sheamus, throws him all the way out to the outside. And Cena's going to attack. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? Two. Oh, Ziggles caught back. Back into the ring now. Oh, caught Ziggles. Elbows to the shoulder blades of Dolph Ziggler. Ziggles is in serious trouble. He, he did well with Cena on the outside. This this has been brutal. Now let's see what happens here. And he gets the tag. The tag to Cena from Sheamus. What have we got coming up here? Nice double team. He's move. Bam! He's got to make the tag. Ziggles has got to make a tag. Ooh, the Hurricane Rhyme by John Cena. Is that what I, the hell I just saw? I'm having a hard time figuring he out what they're going to do Frankensteiner. Uh -oh. And there's the toss. Here comes Super Cena. He's not taking no shit. Will uh -oh. Ziggles get to even tag Alberto? Oh, nice Lance shoulder block by Cena. Well, this should, this is Ziggles' chance. Moving on pure instinct now. He made it. What will it take to finish this superstar? And Alberto Del Rio tried to take advantage of Cena, who was slightly hurt. Oh. oh, here comes John Cena. He ain't here to win a popularity contest. Him and Del Rio back in the ring after Survivor Series. What's going to happen here? I have a strong feeling that these guys will throw caution to the wind and just Cena is just throwing people around. And Cena with a belly to back again. 
Back-to-back, -back or whatever the hell that actually was. Oh, I'm seeing them with some good wrestling right now. Ooh, the curtain. Both of these teams have been looking very good. game so far. Almost looking perfect right there. Cena with the reversal. And, oh, what a brutal shot. Oh, nice. Nice move by Cena. As much as John Cena likes to have fun, when he steps in that ring, what's going on going on here? Cena, and, I mean, this is just a total domination by Cena and Sheamus. Oh, man. Oh, he collapses down the wheel. is in a lot of trouble. Oh, did and you just see took that a knee, knee to the that face. Was sure a hard landing. Super Cena and Sheamus both dominating big. so far here tonight. It's taking a while, though. Look out. <laughs> the, man, it just kills me now laughing every time Parker. that damn Hurricane Rana by John Cena happens. Sheamus in the ring. As pale as ever. Can Sheamus get the big win now that he's back? Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy. Where's Sheamus going? Sheamus to the top. What a huge move. to the oh, face. Man. Is he fired Alberto up? Alberto Del Rio is in some trouble, this but he gets... Oh, he got the reversal, but then Sheamus with a nice reversal. And, and Del Rio the with a nice reversal. And a clothesline. Well, oh, another work. reversal, but this time by Sheamus. What the hell is going King, on, ladies reason. and gentlemen? Oh, the Sheamus. Yeah, this guy's barbaric. Celtic Cross or whatever the hell is going on. He's done. Uh-oh. You know what time it is. You're tuned in to Monday Night Raw live and in hot water. Bam, Bam. there's, there's the boat kick. Boot. And what the hell is Del Rio back doing back up? Del Rio, is, what the hell just happened? That's not good. What the hell is wrong with Sheamus? Why didn't he go for the pin? Why didn't he go for the pin? He had him. He had him. Del Rio, he, he was done. Why is he tagging in Super Cena? Is Super Cena just have to get to fucking win every time? What's going on? The Hall of Famer, Damn. Jerry, the King Lawler. And he's back in there with Del Rio. John Cena, Cena Irish whip to the ropes. Cool. Massachusetts. That was nice. And another perfect neck breaker. All right. He's getting him up. He, you know what he's setting him up for. Ooh, he got caught with that Hurricane Rana shit that time. The real way playing. Michael Cole, along with WWE Hall of Famer Jerry Lawler, trying to make a comeback. This is a chance to get in Ziggles. And Ziggles is in there. Ziggles and Del Rio with the double team. Ooh. Ooh. Ziggles, bam, with the face buster on Cena. Now he's putting the putting the beat into him. And it, things are looking a little bit better for, for uh, Ziggles and Del Rio right now. Cena with the drop kick. Cena is awfully athletic today. And we have a hot tag. Tagging back. Tagging back in Del Rio. Ooh, Del Rio with a nice reversal. I don't know You're how smart that Night was Raw to tag back in Del Rio. There's press by Cena. I don't know if tagging back in, I don't know which one of them hurt more. But both of them just took beatings. I wouldn't have dev I definitely would not have tagged back in Del Rio. He's in some trouble here. Yeah. He is definitely in some trouble. To Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole alongside the Hall of Famer Jerry, the King Lawler. And Cena with another dash press. You know what he's looking for here. You know what he's looking for. Man, oh man. You want to talk about determination? You just have to look in the eyes of John Cena. Question is, is how is he going to get it? Each of these competitors uh -oh. is looking for the He did not get the five knuckle the shuffle, other. but it don't matter. You know what's coming. The attitude, attitude adjustment. adjustment. Here it is. Bam. You know it's game over. You know. Oh, it was Ziggles able to break it up. Ziggles broke it up. Ziggles broke it up. Cena had to win. He almost took his head off. Cena was pissed. He went and punched him in the mouth. He went and punched off Ziggler in the mouth. What's he going for here? Alberto Del Rio took in both finishers. And go be a part of the longest running weekly episodic television. I think after that, I'd be searching. What the hell is Seamus doing? Seamus going for the cover. 
And Ziggles with the breakup. Another drop kick by Cena. That was nice. Here comes Sheamus into the ring. Sheamus has got to be able to finish him off. There goes Sheamus. He's in another big time power move there. And he missed that one. And Sheamus is going after Ziggles. Here comes Sheamus. And he's coming back. He's coming back. Ooh. Oh. That was nice. And here comes Sheamus. He's not playing no games. And and he's out of that. Oh, Sheamus didn't take no chances. Sheamus with the big, big pin on Del Rio. And this match is over. Cena and Sheamus with the victory. Huge, huge, huge victory. Leading into this fatal four way. They actually worked together pretty well as a team. I'm surprised. Surprised they were able to, to actually winners. work together as a damn the team. I couldn't believe it. This is getting big. This is definitely getting big. Sheamus, Cena, Del Rio, uh, Dolph Ziggler, all in the fatal four way. Cena and Sheamus got along great. I just hope Sheamus turns around and bro kicks Cena right in his fucking face. But he didn't. Boo hoo. And this match is over. Now, what's next? What do we got next? What do we have next? That is the question. I know this this episode's about over. Michael Cole, Cena celebrating. Wait, Ziggler's back. Wait, Ziggler's back. Ooh, <laughs> Ziggler attacking Cena with the belt. Ziggler's ain't taking no shit. Ziggler's backed off. What are you doing? Dolph Ziggler is sending a message to the world champion tonight. He's not no face anymore. That's just the way it's going down. Ziggler's is not playing. Now what's next? What's next in the story? We will find out when we come back. You know what? No. You know what? Let's go ahead and finish out this episode. I know it's 32 minutes in, and uh, but let's go ahead and get it done. We gotta be at the end of uh, this Revolution episode one. It's gotta be coming close. I don't know how long they are, but um, at least let's finish off the first Raw. <clears throat> no question. This has been a good episode, though. No question. So, Triple H. Hey, what's up, Stephanie? I'm just letting you know Shawn Michaels has arrived to the building. <laughs> You know what time it is, y'all. And well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and end this episode. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let's find out what the what Shawn Michaels is doing here in our next episode. Make sure you come back. I'll have it up shortly. We're out of here.